Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough, quick tour of my 47 printer strong 3D print farm where it's split in between two locations. So I've got 37 here and I've got 10 at home, which is I guess is more like a, a 3D print garden than a farm. But without further ado, let's get into it and do a quick tour of my farm. Okay, so starting off down the back here. So as you can see, we have two racks so this is one rack here and one rack over there and each rack has eight bamboo labs p1s printers on obviously they all have the ams as well now these are the first lot of bamboo labs printers i've got all of these p1s printers the reason i actually chose the p1s uh, to begin with in the first place is actually mainly because of the enclosure i only print pla um, so i don't necessarily need them they're a little overkill but when I started all of this, I was doing it at home and obviously it all gets a bit dusty and everything. So I, I got these at, to sort of protect from dust and also to keep like the filament dust free up the top there as well. And obviously have it automatically change over if the printer was to run out of filament. Um, but more recently, I've definitely got a lot more into the bamboo A1s because they're just such great value for money. Uh, so I'll show you them there all over there. We'll get to them. But yeah, the P1S absolute workhorse, these printers, they have lasted really, really well. So some of them I've had for, I bought my first ones about December of 23 into January of 2024. Can't remember exactly which month it was now, but before then I was using Prusa printers and they were like, they're just so bad. They were so slow, always had issues, but Bamboo Labs are just like worlds away. Like these are literally like the same price as the Prusas. And then don't even get me started on a Prusa. So I had the Mark III printer versus a Bamboo Labs A1, which is like a third of the price. It is crazy how much better the bamboos are. So this printer here is one of the very first Bamboo Labs printers that I got. And as you can see, it's been going strong for 6,000 print hours so far. So yeah, really, really good. The, the longevity on these are, have been amazing. So most of the printers at this point have about 3,000 hours. So if we just go uh, and we'll check on this one. So this one here, here also has 6,000 hours on there, 6,200. Uh, but yeah, a lot of these have about two, two and a half to 3,000 hours. So then coming around to this side of the print farm, so this, as you can see, is next to the A1s. These are the last of the P1Ss. So we've got another eight P1S printers here, along with the final one here. So this is currently down. It needs belts replacing. And one really good thing that we do with these printers is that we use some like chalk pens to mark off that when, it, when it's been greased for the month and also any other bits of work that we've done with it, it can just be marked off as obviously we have our monthly uh, maintenance for all of the printers. Then moving on down this side is where we've got the bamboo lab. So obviously on these printers, we've got some of the little upgrades that we've printed to make sure the wires are staying in place. We've got the poop deflectors here, making sure it's all going in the poop pots. And then actually speaking of poop pops, this is what we use for the, uh, the bamboo lab. So we've got some of these old pots that we got. So we just put them at the back, which collects all the poop because obviously we get a hell of a lot of poop with the amount of printers that we've got. The other little upgrade that we've got on these printers is just a little fan cover here, just because of that exposed fan. As you can see, this printer is also offline. We're just having some issues with extrusion. Oh, we're just having some issues with extrusion on this printer after replacing a few parts. So we just need a, a bit more time to look into that properly and see why that's going down. Then we've got the rest of the Bamboo Labs printers over here as well. So as you can see, we've got 12 of these A1s and then the rest of the farm in here is all the P1Ss. So I will just give you a last quick tour of round here. We, all, we use all of this really uh, nice big well quite ugly orange and blue racking but yeah last uh, quick look around in here and then we'll go to the garage at home which has the other 10 printers in because we literally had to buy them because we're going to be so busy over q4 that we need to get all of our stock ready to go shipped over to america and europe into all the warehouses over there as well as here where we are based in the uk so let's go over to the garage now Okay, so we are now in the garage. Uh, so as I said, I've got 10 Bamboo Labs A1 printers out here. So we've got six up the top and I've got four down here at the bottom. So the reason why we've set this up, this is just a temporary thing, literally only set it up in the past week or so. Uh, but this is, as I said, for Q4. So we're projecting to sell about 40,000 units. That's packaged units. Uh, so it's much higher than that because some of the things we sell as high as packs of 12. Uh, so individual printed items is way higher than that. So yeah, hell of a lot of uh, units to be made ready for Q4. 
Uh, so that 40,000 is across the entirety of Q4 for the three months. Um, and then January will still be really crazy for us as well. Then into February also. So yeah, there's a hell of a lot of printers going on down here. We need to get it set up because the other side of this garage is, <laughs> I mean, I'm not even gonna show you behind the camera. It's really bad. Um, but yeah, we've got these printers up and running. Unfortunately, there is an issue with this one down here. Yeah, I've got a lot of experience with these printers, never seen this issue before. So it might actually be broken, might actually have to go back to Bamboo because I think it needs some spare parts and it's brand new out of the box. Um, so yeah, hopefully get that sorted soon. But yeah, for the minute, we've just got the nine. You can see my amazing cable management coming down from the, the ceiling up there. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna round it out for this video. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a hell of a lot more content coming out soon about how I scaled my business to the point of having over 50 3D printers in less than two years. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and let me know what sort of content you wanna see from this. You know, is that more business lessons, 3D printing lessons? Just let me know down in the comments below. I absolutely love 3D printing. So any questions, just drop them in the comments and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.